Hi there, and welcome back to St Albans, and welcome back to our very messy shed as well. Sorting the shed out is quite hard on the list of things to do. Um, it's quite difficult to find anything in here, and it's quite cramped at the moment because stuff is just kind of plonked in here. There's also a lot of stuff that's kind of mid-job as well, so one of the things that we need to do to make this a bit of a better space is to create some workbenches. Uh, so we're going to put one down the side, quite a narrow one we think, not 100% sure if it's going to be two scaffolding boards deep or one scaffolding board deep. Um, and then we're going to do uh, two down the back, uh, which will be a bit deeper. The reason that we're not sure if we are going to use one or two scaffolding boards for the side is because uh, if you use two, it juts out slightly in front of the uh, door opening, which uh, means we'd have to kind of round it off a little bit. If we did do too deep, it would be deep enough to be able to put the hob on, which is why the back definitely will be too deep. Um, but it will also take up a bit more room and we don't want it to be too cramped in here uh, when everything is organised. We want to be able to sit in here still and move about with two people in here and a dog as well at some point. Um, so we haven't fully decided on that. But the next jobs that we need to do to be able to get that done is to sand them. And unfortunately, that was one of my jobs for today, but I forgot to bring the sander down. I bought the batteries, but I forgot to bring the sander. Bit of a problem and I'm not going to do that today. So instead, I thought, while I'm here, I'll take the opportunity to talk to you about the seeds that we're going to be sowing in February because it is almost February today. It's almost the end of January now and I thought it'd be a good time to talk about what we're about to sow. So in the first week of February, what we were planning to sow was peas. However, I cannot find our peas anywhere. We do actually have some already sown in the greenhouse on plot 79, the non-flooded greenhouse, of course. Um, but and they are starting to germinate. Um, but we wanted to do some more so that we could have one set for regular peas and the other set for pea shoots, but I cannot find my seeds anywhere. So I need to go out and find some more. I can find the rest of my seeds, just not the peas, which is a bit annoying. And another example of why we need to sort the organization out a bit better in this shed. So at some point I'll pop to the shops and get some peas and then we'll do some hopefully in the first week of January. Um, and then in the second week of January, the plan was to do some Peruvian lemon drop chilies. However, I have changed my mind on that for two reasons. One is that uh, I haven't actually used them for a sauce yet, so I don't know how good they actually are. And this year we're focusing on growing stuff that we know we'll like and that we want to use because we've had a couple of years of bad harvests um, because of the flooding and stuff. So we have uh, just been looking at growing stuff that we know we'll definitely like and that we want to use and trying to grow an abundance of one or two types of stuff. So uh, that's why I'm not going to grow them this month instead. Uh, I am going to grow some Fresno chilies, which I've already sown in February. So we've got some KNs and Fresno, Fresno chilies uh, already germinated. And because we're running out of indoor space, that's another reason not to use, uh, not to sow the other chilies now because we're going to need that for tomato space, which I'll show you in a second. So that's off the table. We're not going to be growing any Peruvian lemon drops this year, um, unless I change my mind towards the end of the season, but probably not. I would like to just focus on getting a really big crop of uh, just the Fresnos and the KN chilies. Um, but in the second week of January, what we will, January, in the second week of February, what we will be sowing uh, outdoors is some spinach. So this is just Lazio, an F1 variety from Wilco, already been opened. It's what we were growing actually at the end of the season last year, which was doing really well before the flooding hit us again. Um, so they're doing really well, and apparently you can sow those from uh, February onwards outdoors. So uh, that is the plan. That'll be the second week of February. And then in the third week of February will be the first of the tomatoes for 2022, which is quite exciting. So again, we're just focusing on two varieties at the moment. Uh, the first one is the classic San Marzano. Uh, this will be from Frankie Seeds. Uh, we've got a couple of packs of these. Again, they're quite generous with their seeds. This one's already open and there's still quite a lot in here if I can open it. He says, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to show you, but I'll be able to give you a rough count of how many are in here still. There's like at least, I'd say at least another 80 seeds in there and we've already used this packet comparing that to some of the other seed providers where you don't get that many. Uh, this is pretty good value and we always have pretty good germination rates and we have another packet of these as well. So we're gonna do quite a lot of San Marzano. So these ones will definitely be used for sources. Um, we didn't get any ripe tomatoes at all last year. None outside, none inside, none on this plot, none on plot 79. They all got blight uh, and before any of them are ripened. 
any of them ripened and it was really disappointing. I know it hit everybody, it was a really wet, really wet uh, season last year and everyone struggled with it but uh, most other people did at least get some ripe tomatoes, we didn't get any. Um, so yeah, we will be starting our first set of Samazanos indoors in the uh, indoor growing setup that we have uh, in the third week of February and hopefully by that point uh, some of the stuff there will be moved around. Um, and then also some Pomodoro Marglobe, so tomato Marglobe, uh, also from Frankie Seeds. These are the only two that we're going to be doing until we change our minds. But for now, these are the only two that we are doing. Um, these ones haven't been opened yet, and we have a couple of packets of these as well. Um, and they will be done uh, around about the same time. And we may do some more sayings towards the end of spring as well as backups we'll see because we will hopefully have two plots so we'll hopefully have a lot of space to do it um, but we do have limited indoor growing space so we need to be selective about the amount and which ones we start so early so that will be the third week of february and then in the fourth week of february uh, we'll be doing a couple of brassicas so the uh we'll be doing some brussels sprouts green marble these ones will be uh, sown indoors. They don't necessarily need to be on a heat mat or anything like that. Uh, they just need to be by uh, a bright window or preferably under a light if, if we have one spare. Um, and uh, we'll grow those indoors until we are past the cold months. And I think that may be where we went wrong with sprouts last year. I did them all outdoors straight away. So they went through a period of cold even as they were seedlings and they were fine. They're hardy, but I think it triggers something in them to make them bolt and make them kind of, uh, I don't know what the, the term is for it, but when they blow out and they're not nice little tiny balls like that and they end up just being opened up uh, plants on, on the stem. Uh, probably still edible, but not what we wanted. And we didn't get any sprouts again for Christmas this or last year. So hopefully by doing them indoors, but early, and we'll probably do some more as well later in the year, um, we will hopefully get some sprouts for Christmas this year. We'll see. And then outdoors, we will be sowing some broccoli, so some Calabrese broccolis. Um, these ones will also be sown in the same week, probably, um, but uh, more likely outdoors. Uh, maybe in modules, maybe direct, depends at the state of the plots, and if we can decide exactly where to put everything, um, but we will see. Hopefully we'll get some broccoli. So we didn't get a lot of broccoli last year either. It just really wasn't a good year for us last year. Um, we did get some, but we didn't grow any Calabrese type style broccolis at all. It was uh, mostly just the sprouting types and a lot of them bolted um, for being left in pots inside the greenhouse too long because it uh, we didn't have anywhere to put them and uh, they ended up getting too hot. So then they end up bolting because they were in pots and their roots were getting hot and I've read that if they get hot roots and it doesn't matter so much if uh, they dry out a little bit or but if they get too hot then uh, it makes them bolt apparently and that definitely did happen with us uh, had a bit of a problem trying to get them to grow so we did get some broccoli it wasn't a lot though and we do have maybe one decent sized purple sprouting broccoli that is still on plot 79 hopefully we'll get something off that in the spring there's a few others dotted about but they're quite small they're not any bigger than this and uh, I'm not holding out much hope that we'll get anything from them so that is what we will be doing hopefully throughout February We'll see if we stick to it. We did stick to it pretty well with um, with January's sowing. Uh, we've sown, I think, pretty much everything except for the lettuce that we were going to do, and there's still a few days left, so we'll probably do that. But again, trying to think about saving space, it might not be the most important thing to sow, but we can also probably germinate them in the house and then move them to the greenhouse on plot 79. So it will hopefully work out quite well. The main thing is stuff like the chilies, the aubergines and the tomatoes and the sprouts. Uh, they need to all stay inside until uh, the weather warms up a little bit, but I'm pretty sure everything else that we're growing can probably handle it pretty well. We have got some thyme growing, some oregano and some rosemary as well. They were sown during January. They were off the script and they were off the plan. Um, and most of those have germinated, only one of the rosemaries has germinated. But again, they don't necessarily need to be in the house. They're just there while we have the space and then uh, they can just go into the greenhouse on plot 79 as we need the space. Because um, it won't be long before we are putting up the aubergines. They are doing really well at the moment. I'm really, really happy with them. And I think all but one of them germinated as well. So doing pretty well with the aubergines so far. Very exciting. 
But yes, that is our plan so far for February. Hopefully we'll stick to it and uh, hopefully it gives you a bit of an idea of what we are going to be growing and uh, we'll obviously keep you updated on how things are going and whether we run out of space indoors. We do have an, uh, space for one more light and one more grow mat if we really, really need it, but they are quite expensive and I'll try to get away without getting another one if we can, but we'll see. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And from me, Sergio and Poppy, take the very best of care and we'll see you again in, an in another video very soon. And I'll try to talk properly. Pfft. Oh, there's a bag blowing about. I'm gonna go and sort that out first. Let's try this again. All right. One of the jobs that we need to do to be able to sort it out, one of that, one of those. Oh. I actually forgot to bring the batteries. No, no, didn't forget to bring the batteries. <laughs> However, I forgot to bring the batteries. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't forget to bring the batteries. I have the batteries. I forgot to bring the sander. February, just like the video that we did in January for the seeds that we're doing. <sighs> and we're not, uh, blah, blah, damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, doing it myself. I've already made it, uh, doing it by hand. Oh my God, Kate, okay. nah. Might be two scaffold. No, 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 not good enough. So. Oh no, just like uh, when we did it. Oh, why did you do it, Kane? Hello, no.